Okay, so we just heard a juicy conversation. Well, actually, we didn't really hear that much, but apparently Yvette had the problem she wished to share with Olympia, and it was so personal that we couldn't hear it. But um, anyway, so let's see. That leads to the art gallery right here. This is Yvette's office, and here we don't know where that goes yet. Down here, there's another office, but we'll find out what that is in a second. Here we have some statues, um, which are actually quite amusing to read, but I won't read them because it takes forever. And we have the thinker here. You see a short... Uh, no, that's the countess, not the thinker. You feel a blush creep... <laughs> Shut up. You feel a blush creeping over your face as you look at the perfect body of Odin's famous thinker. The sculpture has a beautiful face. Its strong but sensitive lines remind you of Steve. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh, ah. Can we talk to the thing? Good cheesy. No. Okay. Mom, Papa. Well, let's go here. Thank you for not using the hand on the statue. Why? Oh. Th thank you for not trying to grope the statue. Okay, well, let's see. Over here, can't go down. If we go around, we'll just end up back in the thinker room. But um, don't know how much this will be able to show on YouTube, but it looks like there's a line, a really fine line, going around here. There is definitely a seam in the bricks. You detect a bit of airflow. Yes, you might even say a subtle draft emerging from the seam. Can we uh, open this large stone thing? Uh, no, it feels like cool stone masonry. Okay. Open sesame? No. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that later. Why are you still here? Go away. She's looking at the sculptures. <laughs> okay, well, let's explore down here. She's a patron of the arts, darling. Oh, let's guess whose office this is. Hmm. Who would have a snake, a lizard swallowing a lizard, a skeleton, some skeletons hanging from the ceiling, a collection of bugs. Hmm. Well, let's see. Oh, that's brightly colored. Oh, charming. It's Barney, Olympia's pet cobra. Hi, Barney. Okay, you can't do that. Uh, maybe I should save. Oh, I can't save. Damn you. Actually, hmm, let's see. Yeah, not a good idea. Okay, damn. Let's see. Appears to be some cloth here. It's the half of the famed Rosetta Stone. All right, we can figure out the rest of the hieroglyphics or hieroglyphs, whatever. Wh what the hell? Why is that black? I don't uh, know. What is that? It's the notebook. Okay, never mind. Whatever. Um, let's take a look. N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. All right. Z. So now we have this Z. 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 Okay. Now we have all the letters of the alphabet, of the Egyptian alphabet, in our notebook, and we could spell cool things like. Uh, well, it's sort of like an interactive like children's... Like Xenopter! Yes, because everybody needs a Xenopter. Yes, indeed. Um... Oh! Yes, I forgot to write down what this is, but I'll, d uh, I'll do that in the next video. <laughs> I, yeah, wait, I actually have that from last time. Oh, you do? Yeah. Do you know what it says? I have a lot of notes here. Um, it says, I pay homage to thee, ye lords of eternity, um, Ra strong is thy sail in the wind, as uh, thou sailest over the lake of fire in the underworld. Behold, true the mother creating the gods. Okay, and if we click our hand icon on here, it'll move us to the other side of the board. Do you have notes for this one? Yeah, I, I didn't figure uh, figure this out myself. I didn't know of this. Yeah, I know it's kind of an unfair puzzle because it really looks like this is all there is to it. I mean, if they had gone on, you would think they'd have more here, and 
I don't know, it's just kind of stupid, but yeah, you have to actually click your hand icon in order to see all the message, and that actually is really important, but um, yeah, I'll just have to find that out later. Um, let's see. So about Jones is really big on those hieroglyphics, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. And her crabbiness doesn't I, like them very much. No. I, yeah, it, it's, it's fun. Okay, now um, what's this bottle here? The bottle says, Dr. Mom Mouds, guaranteed snake oil. I want some snake oil. Oh, hi, Olympia. Just looking around. Oh, come on. Good evening, Miss Bull. She has devil horns. Oh, you startled me. Good. It gets the blood flowing, doesn't it? Well, I suppose so. I see you are looking at my snake oil. Well, I was just looking around. I'm sure you meant no harm. What's the snake oil for, anyway? It repels snakes, of course. Comes in handy when I'm working in the basement. I lost a load of Egyptian cobras down there a few weeks ago, and I occasionally come across those little darlings. Oh, well, that's comforting. Those snakes always want to bite me, but I'm sure they don't mean anything by it. It's just their way. They get nervous very easily, you know. Normally, I like to watch them kill things. My Barney will kill anything he can seek his, sink his teeth into. Charming. Well, I'd like to chat some more, but I've got to rush off and meet that young Steve fellow. He promised to show me his scars. See you later. Uh... What? <laughs> um, I, I, I wouldn't be worried about that. I mean, <clears throat> anyone who would be attracted at all to Olympia is not worth going out with, so... Olympia is my dream woman. What are you talking about? Okay, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Forget I said anything. That's, okay. Let's, let's, uh... Well, I want that snake oil back, dang it. What's going on? Huh. There's something kind of wrong here. What's with the thinker? No! I can- Go away! You're <laughs> messing up my game! <laughs> Looking a little closer, you detect a seam along the sculpture's otherwise flawless neck. Weird. Well, let's go follow Olympia. Oh, great. Yeah, she's gone. And the thinker's back to normal. Well, let's see if we could try that again. Aha! Yes! Now we can go down. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh dear, the light bulb blew out. You hope someone will invent a reliable light bulb one of these days. <laughs> Never. Never. Now, 80 years later, they still haven't. I don't know, I kind of want to go downstairs here, but I'm thinking I might fall off if I'm not very careful. So I'm going to save. And move the mic, so don't mind that noise. Uh, ignore these, they're, yeah, okay. Uh, staircase. Alright, Laura, let's go. No, let's go down here. No, I... <sighs> Laura, you didn't follow directions. Nice swan dive off the stair. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> what can we do? No, okay, it's it's clear that we have to get a light bulb or some kind of light in order to go downstairs. So we'll just not worry about this for now. Instead I'd like to see if this is open. Aha, it is. Yvette's office. With the awesomest sleazy music ever. Okay, and on that note, I guess um, I'll end the video here because I'm out of time. So, see you next time, folks. Whoops.